All right, we're gonna talk about the drill press today. This is kind of what one of them looks like. Here is what another one looks like. This is another one that we have. They work very similar, but we're gonna show you basically how to do the setup today. So right over here, this is our newer one. Here's the off on switch. Make sure when you're ready to go, you lift up on that. Don't push the button. Over here is our lever system. This is spring loaded. So if we were to let that go, it kind of snaps in place. So we really don't want to do that. We want to have total control over that. Here's the chuck key itself. This actually will come off. One of the key points of this drill press is always make sure that nobody has done this. Nobody has left the chuck key in the chuck. This one's spring loaded, so if I try to leave it in there, it's gonna bounce out, okay? So this shouldn't happen, but you always wanna check just to be sure. The big thing with this is to secure your work to the table. This little piece down here, this is the table right here. So we've gotta make sure that we can, we can get our drill bit up to that. This is called a spade bit here, a wood bit, commonly used. What we're gonna try to do is just kinda drill a hole in this piece of stock right here. Now the very first thing I'm gonna to need to do though is I need to put a mark on the board. So give me just a second and we'll put that on there. So I'm gonna, I would act like I would measure it. So I kinda of want it right here in the middle. Now the last thing I wanna do, I don't wanna be holding this in place. That's just an accident waiting to happen. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna put the vise on here and I'll go ahead and I'll clamp the work. So I'm going to clamp this in place and I'll make sure that clamp's pretty tight. Now if you realize this, that's as far as the drill bit goes down. So what I'm going to have to do is raise the whole table up. So I'm going to loosen it back here with this lever and then I'll raise it with our, with our handle over here. Okay. We just got to make sure we get it close enough, right? So I'm going to go all the way up there. until it's really close to touching. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna lock this into place here in the back. So I'm gonna tighten that up. And before I get going, I wanna use these spring clamps that are right here next to it. I wanna clamp one on each end if I can. So then I'll come over here and go ahead and get another clamp on this. And that kinda of holds it into place. All right, so from here, I would turn the machine on and I'm gonna drill the hole. So give me just a second, we'll turn the power strip on over here. And now we'll flip the switch. You can kind of see the depth gauge here. Right now I wanna check it. There is my zero, right? I'm gonna just move that on down. And now I'm gonna drill it into about a half inch, or excuse me, a quarter inch. See, I've reached the quarter. You see it's starting to take some sawdust now. I'm going to continue to go. I want to try to get down to about one inch here. Now with these bigger bits, these things cause a lot of friction. So every now and then I just want to ease up. And I'll go back down at it again. So I'm going to ease up again just to let the sawdust get out of the hole. And then I'll continue to go. Ease up. We call it letting the machine breathe a little bit. And I'll just continue. Then I'm going to ease up a little bit. And then I'll go again. Now you notice I'm going at a pretty nice and controlled speed. up and I'm gonna go ahead and let it out and then I'll shut the machine off I would go ahead and finish when it got to one inch but I think you all get the idea